Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you an easy way to demonstrate Lenz's Law with an aluminum disc. Check this out. For this demonstration, I'm using an eight inch aluminum disc, a couple of rubber washers, a screw and a nut screwdriver. This is a neodymium magnet, N52. This is my Dremel that's in a, a ring stand to hold it so that we can spin the plate over the Dremel. So the idea is to spin the aluminum plate over the Dremel. And I found that my Dremel came with several different bits. And I noticed that this sanding bit was about the same diameter as the hole in my aluminum disc. So I'm just gonna take off this uh, sanding belt. And I'll have kind of a, a rubber center. And I'm just gonna squeeze that right through the center of my plate. And you can see it's really tight. And then I'm just gonna mount that right onto my Dremel, just like that. So here's another view of that sanding bit that I have going through the aluminum plate and it's tightened on the Dremel. So when I turn the Dremel, the plate just spins. Okay, so now the plate's ready to spin. I'm gonna put a neodymium magnet on each side of this strap and I'm gonna connect it to a clamp over here and I'm just gonna let it rest on the plate. Hopefully when it starts to spin, that'll induce an eddy current and the magnets will start to levitate over the plate. Check it out. All right, so keep your eye on the magnets. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Definitely levitating. magnets look at that well that was cool but I wonder if it can levitate a much larger n52 neodymium magnet so I'm gonna take some duct tape and I'm just gonna tape the edges and I'm gonna dangle this really heavy magnet right over the disc and see if that eddy current is strong enough to levitate a larger magnet check this out Okay, so what's going on here? By Lenz's law, an eddy current creates a magnetic field that opposes the change in the magnetic field that created it. And that's how eddy currents react back on the source of the magnetic field. And that's what levitates the magnet over the spinning aluminum plate. Here again, you can really see that opposing magnetic field. Here's that N52 magnet that we used, and here's two aluminum loops. I'm just gonna put this through the loop without touching it, and then pull it out. And you can see that movement. There it is again. Emil Lenz was born in 1804. He was a Russian physicist, and his law states that the direction of an electric current induced in a conductor by a changing magnetic field is such that the magnetic field created by the induced current opposes changes in the initial magnetic field. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.